Hello again, it's Brian Shannon from AlphaTrends.net, and today is Tuesday, the 29th of July, 2008. The market volatility continues to be amazing here, as we saw yesterday's uh, losses become swallowed up with a uh, bullish outside day higher today. That means that today's high and low were both uh, outside the range of yesterday's high and low, and we finished right at the highs of the day. Also, right at this level here, which we've been keeping an eye on, which is, of course, the uh, January in March lows that we'd seen and the markets uh, may be trying to search for some support in this area realistically we've got a declining 50-day moving average that's why we have to continue to be cautious here uh, but we can possibly inc be encouraged that the markets making a higher low for now the market remains gu guilty till proven innocent and any rally should be you know treated just as a short-term event within a primary downtrend yesterday it appeared as though the market was going to continue lower and what I said was if you'd missed the sell-off yesterday on the break below support, what we wanted to do was wait for a rally up to see if this prior level of support would act as resistance. During the day today uh, on the blog, I had uh, posted that as well, that perhaps the market is uh, nearing this resistance level right here, which is why I put that question mark. I'm not trying to make a prediction, but only look at what the evidence is saying. I said here that it has the potential to act as resistance, but if you're looking to get short, wait for prior price for confirmation before you get short because at that time the market was comfortably above the daily VWAP right in here as it looked like it was coming up to that 125 level so the daily VWAP was rising so there was no reason to get involved as the buyers were firmly in control of the session and they remained in control and pushed this S&P 500 up another dollar 33 from that level so that's where you look at it when I said yesterday it looks like we're heading for lower lows maybe we get a uh, rally up to here and then you sell short the weakness you only sell short the weakness this is why you know people say well there's resistance at 125 the key le key word there is there's potential resistance we only know after the fact unfortunately that's the way technical analysis goes is you only know after the fact but what it allows you to do is to determine key levels where the market momentum may change so that you can anticipate that change in, in direction position yourself accordingly and then wait for the evidence to reveal itself and uh, set your stops accordingly obviously that didn't happen today that is the reversal and I that if somehow the market gets back above uh, 125, you want to be very careful with any short positions uh, because we get a, could get a little bit of squeezage, and that's what we saw here today. So, you know, we've got a declining five-day moving average. The market's right up to it. We're also right up to this level here in the daily time frame. A lot of mixed messages. It's just not clear which way this market's going to go. It's, it's up one day. It's down the next day. We've just got amazing volatility that's really just best suited for short-term traders. Any Anything else uh, is really you're just taking too much uh, too much risk in my opinion. Oil got hit hard again today. The USO was down 2.32, uh, so just about two uh, two percent. Yesterday uh, I had suggested that uh, the market hasn't violated the definition of the downtrend yet in, in, in that it hadn't made a higher high and any shorts should be covered when it makes a higher high uh, we still had yesterday as I pointed out this declining five-day moving average and when the intermediate term uh, moving average is heading lower you generally want to be very careful with any type of reversal scenario um, and we saw another lower low today so if you're still short then just lower that stop once again listen to the messages the market let the market tell you when to get out don't impose your beliefs on it on the market because the market doesn't care what you or I think it should do the IWM uh, right back up or very close to the levels from the breakdown that occurred in uh, mid-June and that is uh, you know at a, just a, just under the $72 level and we're also right at the declining 50-day moving average so yesterday we saw a, a steeper sell-off in here and uh, it looked as though maybe this market was gonna head uh, head lower as well but it recaptured this level and uh, just you know it continues to be amazing volatility so you've got to look at this and say if it can get back above this level here which is approximately 7140 if it gets above that 7140 level then maybe we're gonna get a little bit more uh, of a squeeze rally uh, we still got a lot of earnings coming out so the markets you've got to be careful with that uh, we're below the 50-day moving average we're below the 200-day moving average 
mixed messages it only favors short-term trading in here uh, it's just not conclusive either way at this point so you got to keep your risk so so when you know when in doubt you can either be out on the sidelines and cash or you can choose to participate but you do so on very short-term time frames and you do so with much share a smaller share size from a day trading perspective this market was it was up early uh, that is it was, it was up in price early and then it was higher highs and higher lows as it ran away Away from this rising fi uh, daily VWAP, and buyers remained in control all day long. The financials uh, were were set on fire to the tune of seven and a half percent today. So you've got to look at this market and say it's got some important support here at about twenty, you know, nineteen dollars and seventy-five cents to twenty dollars a share. If it can, you know, can't maintain. Uh, strength above that level maybe that we get this 50-day moving average to flatten out perhaps we're gonna get a higher high here and this market gets squeezed up towards that 200-day moving average it's a deeply 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 sold off uh, oversold market and uh, from oversold conditions when bad news comes out such as the Merrill Lynch uh, you know obviously bad news for Merrill Lynch holders but uh, even Merrill Lynch today uh, you know saw a large gain it was initially down some but huge volume and you know they they say it's like the saying goes bad news comes out at turning points when the bad news comes out that means that what people were the short sellers were anticipating they begin to to decide to you know now's the time to cover my position uh, either way you look at it though we've got huge volatility we've still got a group here the financials that is in a primary downtrend so it's super high risk in here the volatility should continue to uh, to, to be uh, to be high in here but we're seeing maybe some signs that uh, it's at least finding support for now breaking back below that 1975 would be problematic once again and remember don't you know put your opinion on the market listen to what the market says with that in mind too the Olympics are coming up in about a week and a half and China is getting a lot of attention I think that there's gonna be a lot of Chinese stocks that are gonna to begin to start to move most of the Chinese stocks are in horrible downtrends and they're super risky stocks but for a very disciplined trader, they they offer a lot of opportunities. And what I'm going to do later is post a video only to the blog. You're not going to be able to find it anywhere else. It'll be only on the blog at alphatrends.net. I'm going to post that later this evening with my ideas of what I think are the best beneficiaries of a possible turnaround uh, for some of the Chinese shares uh, based on Olympic hype. So uh, tune in to alphatrends.net for that later today. The NASDAQ 100 continues to, you know, bigger picture, be just trapped in this 44 to 46 range. We've just seen all this choppy back and forth nonsense where really you got to say, is this market uh, establishing a, a, a level of su support? Or is it being accumulated before the next move higher? Well, if the market breaks past 46, and I th still think that we've got the opportunity for a move perhaps up into this 50 to the 200 day moving average area or is this distribution before the next leg lower the primary trend is down so the risk remain uh, to the buyers mainly but you always have to be aware of all potential opportunities and you have to be impressed with this uh, re resilience in here recently yesterday it broke down below this low today you know shot right back up and up towards this 45 and a half level that's been resistance and of course we know that this 46 level is the bigger level that if it can get above that then perhaps we've got a uh, a move up towards that 50 and 200 day moving average bullishly we see that the market is making higher lows that means that Buyers aren't waiting for a pullback to 43 and a half before they step in aggressively and push the market back up to 46. Instead, they took control at $44 a share. Then they pushed the market back up to that resistance level. A few days later, the mar they the buyers took back control at 44.40. So they're getting more aggressive price-wise, and they're also staying persistent in here with these tests of resistance coming approximately equal distance apart. So there's there's a potential still that we can get back above that 46 level and and squeeze them a little bit as we have in these other markets but uh, risks remain high and you've got to be a, an aggressive and disciplined trader to participate